Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 32 degree Wednesday, the, what is it today? The 8th? Yeah, the 8th of November. Whew, that was cold this morning. There was a fog layer, and it's it's lifting, as you can see, and there's sunshine out there. I think today is supposed to be nice. I would imagine the, te <laughs> the temperatures aren't going to be very high. Oh, look at that beautiful salmon color there. These cherry trees, they sure turn beautiful as well. They change through their, their different stages of fall. Sadly, just like the aspens out there, they'll just be barren here before. The only leaves in here is all the morning doves hanging out in the top of it. <laughs> anyway, welcome to hump day. Y'all come on along. Fun times at the, the station here, the the pumps aren't authorizing the cards. I gotta go in, do it this manual way thing. She goes, go ahead and lift it and turn the pump on, come in and see me. I come in, she goes, go ahead, pump it, and come back and see me. I'll give you a card when it's done. They're having a problem with their uh, authorization system at the pumps. And what was scary, I go back in and uh, they were having a problem authorizing the guy just buying a, like a cup of coffee and some snacks. One nice thing, it went down another 20 cents. I thought 4.49 is ever a good price, but that's not bad for super around here. Not in these days. Well, it's foggy down here by the freeway though, isn't it? It was lifting at home. All right, we're done. It's amazingly. 50 degrees here in Vancouver. What a drastic change from, from Toledo. Lot. It's a whole lot warmer. Here. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, 50 degrees and feel warm. Mm -hmm. well, Mama, you made it to hump day. We did. Yeah. Right there, just got 50 to yeah. It's, it's a coming on us quick. Yes. So uh, have yourself a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. Oh, all right, Thank Mama. You. All right. Love you, see you, bye. I love you, babe. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. So, Tim, because it's been rainy and nasty down here, I, don't know, I was going to try to catch him, but I was upstairs when he took off. But uh, since since being the owner of his R9T, he took it out for a ride today. That's cool. Took it to lunch. He loves this thing. Kind of hard not to love an R9T. It's so cool. Even a key type ignition, no, no keyless ride. But, you know, the, well, since he's new and, you know, it's fly by wire, so it has, uh, he doesn't have it on there, but he can, he can get the switch and he can activate cruise control. It comes with heated grips. Like I told you guys before, there's a lot of updates this thing. You get the dual disc instead of the single. The Pure was really basic. Now they've added a bunch of cool stuff to it. Awesome bikes. Just barrel of fun to ride. He's building, well, he was Can-Ams all day. I found a, a, a Polaris in the mix. They're mass building side-by-sides up there. It's crazy how these things come. Everybody does it different, you know? Kind of the same, but different. They come strapped down. And some of these things, you can't unstrap them because with the roll bar and stuff, <laughs> we can't get out the door. So you have to leave them strapped till you build everything, get it outside. Some of the Can-Ams don't have the suspension on them. So uh, you make sure that once they're, you have the shocks and stuff on, they just come with steel struts that keep them low and it allows them, it's easier for shipping. But, um, anyway, cool stuff. Yeah, you gotta, when you put the shocks on, you gotta make sure it's not so high you can't get it out the door. This, uh, this area was never, never designed to be a, a motorcycle shop. This is an auto parts store downstairs. And we bought them out. And it, Initially, it was a big storage area down here. Then we turned it into a dot com. And then, uh, we pardoned off this area from the dot com and, uh, 
As you see, it's the BMW shop now. Beautiful day. Nothing to ride. Had a, um, a F750 GS. Okay, let me Just do some auto white balance. An F700 GS that I could have taken for a ride that uh, Tim built um, on Saturday, I think it was. But it's been raining, as and they've been been able to take it for a ride. Well, you got all sidetracked with the side by sides and stuff. I go, hey Tim, I said, did you already ride that that F seven hundred GS, seven hundred and fifty GS? And he goes, yeah. I go, oh, all right. Well, he goes, well, you can ride it. I said, well, I can't I got to watch the miles? No, I can't ride it again. That that would be a joy ride at that point. Not allowed to do that. But um, he goes, you can ride it upstairs if you want. I said, yeah, it'll be kind of hard to make a vlog out of that, so I just <laughs> I just took it upstairs. I had to go upstairs anyway. He goes, save you from walking up there. I goes, yeah, probably do me some good. Let's go outside and see what it looks like out there. Instead of staring through this weird window here that's making some really weird lighting. Ooh. That one cloud looks a little spooky, doesn't it? Well, it's a big old cloud. Look how low that sun is. What is it? 3.30. That sun's right in them trees right there. All the wind and stuff. Look how much of the beautiful leaves I was showing you. What was that? Monday or whatever. Most of them have been scattered out of there. Lots of spiders in for whatever reasons. These are not ones I've worked on. One that cable, Cable's been working on. This is a mule that he put together the other day, Tim. That's quite the utilitarian vehicle there. Look at the bed on that thing. I think it converts into different things. She's a shapeshifter. But anyway, we'll go up here and see what the mama's doing, see if she's busy. I hear Tim coming, he must have found his neck. He's trying to get another ATV. I hear him rolling. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Come all in pieces like that. Look how dark it is with perfectly blue skies. If it's any rain at all, it's it's just black dark out here right now. But it looks good now. There's a lot of twilight. I showed you these uh five millimeter hex. So uh, it's the basically the drive for the that connects the uh, drivetrain to the wheels. I'll show you here in a second. But uh, let's pop these things on here right quick. It'll kick each wheel out one millimeter, and that should easily clear those uh, steering linkages up there. Which, like I say, they're not touching, but there's no room for error there whatsoever. So uh, let's do this right quick. Okay, so these are the stock plastic ones oh it does not want to focus it's like at all oh that's interesting refuses to focus on me but anyway that's the stock plastic ones and these are the brass ones these are four millimeters long and these are five millimeters long so i'll kick the wheels out a little bit this thing in macro mode right quick so you can see it and these are they go in because the pins go through the shaft and that's what locks these things in so the pins are so small it's hard to even hold on to anything see the pins lock inside there it's kind of a hard way to show it but anyway I'll pop one off and put another one on here right quick. That way you can get a, an idea of what I'm, what I'm talking about. Okay, here's one, one installed. And here's the difference in height between the two. One millimeter. And it's barely measurable, but they are actually weighted. It's made out of brass. So this will kick kick the wheel out one millimeter see there's just a hex on the inside that that locks into pretty cool huh so 
but look at the difference in the clearance of that steering rod or steering linkage to the wheel compared to this one that literally get my finger in here literally looks like it's touching it's not it's barely clearing it but it's not by much so that kicks it out without making the car like overly wide or anything so we'll get the other three on here and see how, see how she looks not that <laughs> two millimeters is going to be noticeable but she's two millimeters wider and you know i got good clearance on both sides and we'll go out here and play with that thing for a minute or two I, when we got home it was 37 degrees Lord only knows what it is out there now. That was cold, man. You don't you're not paying attention to temperature outside as you're driving along, cause you're just in the nice comfort of the car. Get home, jump out of that car to get them, get the girls out of the cage, and get everything all put away. And like, whoa, that is freaking cold out here. So uh, anyway, there we are. That was very simple. The only bummer about them is, I, I think I explained the Traxxas ones, they click to the pin because they're plastic. So you can pull the wheels on and off without any chance of that coming off. Well, these, you know, just slide. So whenever you take the wheel off, you're going to lose the pin and everything's going to come out. But you just got to know that know they do that. One of the trucks do that, I think. I don't remember which one. Oh, it's the uh, Gen 7, the Red Cat. Every time you take a wheel off the... The hex comes off, pin falls out. <laughs> but then uh, it's just something you gotta deal with. No big deal. Well, at 33 degrees out here. Not that it's gonna drive any different with the wheels <laughs> having a overall two millimeter wider stance. Oh, fuck them dogs been out here. We got some craters out here. You know, last time I drove this, I forgot I was gonna put that uh that Mium, 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 whatever it was, that transmission, Mium, I think it was, transmission in it, because I decided this one needed it just like the uh, Bronco. That that made this thing, or the Bronco, that was perfect, that halfway between the normal transmission ratio and the, uh, um, sorry, and the crawl, that was perfect. get too far out there and it it, it out, out forms the light i just got this terrible thing of watching the car and not the camera i'm just assuming it's like a gopro and super view it's just gonna grab everything well it does not <laughs> but yeah a little wider stance is not gonna hurt it at all either riot these things are I don't know where the battery it's been so long since I charged the battery I don't know where this thing's at <laughs> the lights are so bright on this thing I can walk across the yard with this in my hand and see everything out there yeah I'm just literally just talking about not pointing the camera in the right place and I just do it again <laughs> That's why I've open on her. Look how fast she goes. <laughs> it truly will rip right along with that other other transmission in it. So we can get over that hump. Well, the dog's been disturbing everything out here, as you can see. They go through their little phases where they hang out here a lot. And then all of a sudden, they don't. Well, here lately, they've been out here. But at least, like, Danny is not, you know, digging those monster holes like he was before. Like, was in the summer, but I think he was... I think he's going for a colder. I'm losing traction here. Back up just a little bit. 
turn into it a little bit more. Oh, still didn't get it. All right, let's play on the ramp for a second or two. So, as it was suggested, and that's been a few days ago, so I deeply apologize. I don't remember the name at the moment. Um, but putting a like a little inlay that I can either what I'm thinking of have something set up in here so it'll just kind of click in and I can use it or take it off and not use it both on this one and the one going up over there that I used to play on all the time with the one tenth cars and that'll make uh, make it accessible to the one eighteenth cars oh yeah you gotta gotta almost get the front wheel in the air to to clear it because it uh, bottoms out on that crossover especially if you get it on a I hear Kelly out there somewhere I heard her cough she must be on the porch I can't see her it's just black out there oh yeah she, I think she's right there looking at me I don't know I can't see that far in the dark Oh, you know, the last time I had this thing out here is when I swan dived the thing off the thing backwards. <laughs> oh, I need to fill in that little, because I like going across right here, but it the back wheels get caught. It falls right in that hole. And see, that's another thing. If I had that other transmission gearing in here, it would go faster. Probably get some real speed going up on this one. Anyway, on that, I'm going to bounce. So uh, get in there and grab the mama. Tell her to bundle up because it's cold out. <laughs> and do a quick goodbye. Well, hello there, you two. Good Lord. And it's cold. I think we'll smoke that 32 from this morning. Go right on past that, mm. or below it, below as it, it may be. <laughs> yeah, you know, and clear skies all day, and boy, that makes it flat cold around here. Yeah. <laughs> all the dogs, they're all every one of them's inside crashed out, and little, little cat roll balls. They got their little spots, and they go, "Oh God, it feels so good in here. Nice and warm, it's warm and dry." And yeah. The wind. This is so nice. I know. It is comfy. <laughs> and Sasha, you know, it's that time of year. She sleeps on the bed every night. There is something howling out there in yeah. the woods. There's something out there. Yeah. But anyway. It's a kind of a, I, despite the, how nice it was, it's kind of quiet at work today. Mm -hmm. But it was Everybody a good day. It's going, oh, okay. Got to go do whatever it was we need yeah, to do. Yeah, chores. And, yeah. It would have been nice to be been home and cut the grass today. Yeah. Now the rain's coming back tomorrow. But it better, but it's it's coming later in the yeah. day, not early, so. Yeah. I can say I could, if it rains tonight, it's not going to, it's not going to come down as a liquid. No, it'll be kind of fluffy and white. Yeah. yeah. It's cold enough now that it'll probably, whether it'd stick, but it would probably come down to snow. Mm hmm Dropping, you know, from up. But Anyway. I think on that, we're going to call it a night. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Thank you. All right. See you in the morning. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>